Hey, 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 what's up everybody? Welcome to Five Minutes or More Cooking with King Yamo. I'm so glad you joined me. Look, I'm hungry and today I'm making tamales. How I'm gonna do that in five minutes or more, I don't know. But we're gonna just do it anyway, okay? Come on, join me. First, you need a pork butt or shoulder. You need to be cooking it. Make sure that it's nice and tender, falling off the bone type. You put in your seasoning, onions, salt, and garlic. You can put that in there, make it taste really, really good. When that's done, you're gonna take the pork shoulder, butt, chicken or beef, and make sure that you shred it. Shred it really good. Take the juice. When you take the juice from the pork or boulder, you're gonna take the juice and make sure that it's cooled off, okay? Once it's cooled, then you're gonna add it. You're gonna do about three or cups of masa and maybe, let's see, a half a tablespoon of bacon soda, okay? After you do that, you have your green sauce and you have your red sauce. And this stuff, if it's too hot, you can use ajijo, ajijo, okay? You can put that in there with this tomato sauce that you see right there. You're gonna make this paste. It's gonna be a paste, and the paste have to be consistent. Usually, you use your hands. You gotta use your hand before camera purposes. I'm gonna be, you know, technically correct on this and use a spoon. But it has to be a nice, good paste. Before you paste it, make sure that you soak your husk. The husks are kind of dry, so you wanna soak them in water for about an hour, okay? After you do that, you're gonna already have your pork butt or shoulder or chicken or beef you're gonna have it in the green sauce like marinating so to speak green sauce or red sauce whatever one you choose i love the green sauce green sauce is really good to me okay so i'm gonna take it in my hand take the husk that's really good and um flexible it's kind of flexible too so we're gonna take this boom however much you want i like more meat in my tamales than I do masa. But if it's some good masa and seasoned good, look, I'll eat the masa too, really good. So you see, I'm spreading it. I'm spreading it on there. And maybe a little too much, but that's okay. You just spread it evenly. Spread it on there like that. And get a grip, don't be afraid of it. You gotta really control it and get a grip. After you do that, I'm gonna put my hands in it, y'all. You just take a piece of some of the meat and you're gonna put that on there like that. You see that? You're gonna put that in there. And then you're gonna make sure that you fold it. So if you don't have enough and it seems like it's not enough, you can add more husk. We're not letting nothing go to waste, okay? You smear it on there and then you're gonna fold it. So you fold it as such on that side, fold it on that side. Then you're gonna bend it up, fold it up and leave the opening. You're gonna leave this opening up like that. You see that? Wow, you're going to put that there. You're going to stack them up on there together like that. So you can just separate your green and your red. Stack it up. And then you're going to bring it over here. And if you don't have a, it's called a t steamer, a tamale steamer pot. That's what we're going to call it right now. If you don't have that, you could put some plates at the bottom with some water. And then you could put the tamales on top of the plate. Make sure you keep enough water in there so it can steam and steam for about two hours. Okay, five minutes or more cooking with King Niamo. Now you're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you and, and eat it and taste it and everything so you can see how it really comes out.